Alcohol can be a disaster for your recovery. And I think the real reason alcohol is bad for recovery is its impact on sleep. When we look at alcohol, the way it's metabolized, sleep is really its enemy. And I think sometimes it's confusing. Why it's confusing, it sedates you, meaning it makes you sleepy. And, and I think that's very misleading. People associate sleep and falling asleep as a measurable tool, but sedation and sleep are two different things. You will fall asleep faster with alcohol. That being said, it's, it's much less quality sleep. What alcohol does is it prevents you from getting into REM sleep. And REM sleep is a type of sleep that allows you to have mental stability, regulate your mood, memory consolidation. When you look at alcohol usage, a lot of the reasons why people turn to alcohol is actually the type of sleep that's being impacted. REM sleep is your mental reset for your brain. And what alcohol does is it basically doesn't allow your brain to get into REM sleep. And by the time it metabolizes towards the morning time, once that happens, it tries to make up for the lack of REM sleep. And you have these big REM cycles right before you wake up. And it feels like you are knocked out cold. You're having these big REM cycles. With alcohol, it's about timing. Time Timing is the biggest thing. And even though everybody knows, or for most people know, it takes about one hour to metabolize one drink of alcohol, but just how much alcohol is in your system, that's from an impairment perspective. The effect of alcohol linger for about four to five hours. It's more about the byproducts that it takes to metabolize alcohol. It's really about having about a four hour window from the time you have your drink to the time you go to bed. Am I telling you to day drink? I'm not gonna say I'm telling you to day drink, but if you had to pick between having two glasses of wine at night earlier in the day, from a sleep perspective, it's a much more beneficial to have them earlier in the day. When I look at people who who are drinking quite a bit and I look at the outcomes, I always wonder what's the impact that just the sleep's having? And I think that's one of the biggest things is when you look at people drinking their sleep, they wake up way more often, very fragmented, which is another reason why you don't get quality deep sleep is because when you have really fragmented sleep, your body just doesn't progress into those cycles. When you look at it super fragmented, a lot of times you actually don't realize it. People won't feel like they woke up a lot when they wake up and you do self-assessment. But when you look at the data and if you look at sleep study, it's super fragmented. It's just very short bursts so you don't remember it. And then the quality is just not quite as good. It affects the architecture of your sleep, meaning your body doesn't progress through the cycles normally would, and that results in inefficient sleep. If you're gonna have alcohol, be strategic. The other side of this is every once in a while, you gotta let loose and have a good time, but just be smart the majority of the time.